Hey, good news for Qtup users. QTS 5.0 beta is has been announced uh, as this Friday. Um, it's available to download. If you have um, a certain model number, you can actually try it out. So you can go to NAS Compare's um, search for QTS file and you will find the list of supported NAS models. I'll just have a look here. Few Celeron based, uh, Ryzen based, Intel Core i3 and our Realtek based um, uh, model numbers. If you've got one of these model numbers, you can try it out and um, help and contribute to this um, new operating system development. It's still in the beta, uh, so your feedback will be really crucial. So when you, if you install one, do get back to them and, and report all issues they, they have. Uh, since the last attack, what um, QNAP experienced, they have introduced, I think that's why they pushed this QTS5 um, out uh, sooner. So they want to reassure users that their security is um, being inc uh, improved and, and people data will be safe. So we can just quickly go through the um, things they are offering on the QTS5. So uh, they're saying that it's uh, built on new Linux kernel. As you know, all NASs actually have Linux in the backbone, just like um, iOS, for example, on, on, on uh, Apple users. And uh, what they are highlighting is that it's gonna be improved security thanks to this new kernel. Um, they are gonna uh, have WireGuard VPN option, that's a third party as well, and we uh, improved caching uh, system and um, a better support for AMD improvements. So what else they have? They are highlighting that there is um, smoother user experience. So a new design, uh, new uh, notice bar, uh, whatever notifications you get, you will get a new way of displaying it. Uh, looks like it's just a new color, but I'll see. we'll see that in real time later on. Um, smooth and reactive user interface. So it should be smart beer. I can see there is a search implemented in, 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 uh, in the start menu where you, could, you would go for settings or looking for apps and, and so on. Um, so better security. So they're saying they have moved up to TLS 1.3. So that means if you're accessing your QTS through the browser, through the internet browser, so you have this SSL certificate uh, improved with TLS 1.3, something a bit more secure. If you're connecting through SSH, uh, that's for, for advanced users, you can now actually use SSH key instead of password. So normal passwords. If you have a, a key file, you, you can unlock your connection to your QNAP. So a slightly safer way to connect to your QNAP. Uh, then this WireGuard VPN. So there are other ways of um, connecting to your NAS with VPN. Now they're introducing another way, which is WireGuard. Mm, they're promising to be simpler. So next NVMe SSD cache uh, performance. They're saying thanks to this new kernel, uh, caching will be slightly smarter. So then uh, things what usually live on the RAM, on the f f random access memory, is gonna be actually moved to uh, NVMe cache, similar like Snowgy is actually doing. They are trying to offload all uh, stuff from RAM to NVMe, because um, it's still quite fast. Um, moving on, uh, they are promising this 10 times faster image recognition uh, with HTPU. So, just by installing this new operating system, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna speed up your image recognition straight away. You will need to actually get either USB or M.2 um, uh, sort of chip. You put that in, and it's like a um, little brain of um, detecting the faces, which you which you can use in uh, QT, um, Q, Q Maggie or uh, QVR face anywhere where is this artificial intelligence required for face and thing recognition. So these chips take the strain off the CPU so CPU doesn't need to work that hard and uh, these things will uh, speed things up. So you'll need to keep that in mind. You'll need to get additional thing, not just the OS. Um, uh, predicting dry failures. So um, it's something they had already. They did these smart checks and things like that. You could see that there is um, end of life approaching with the drives, but now it's gonna be uh, slightly easier to detect. They'll, so they'll have like a color code and see that how much of our life is left in that hard drive. So uh, they are even promising to be able to do that on expansion Unix, except TR series, which is also handy. Um, check each drive status and drive live prediction score, mm, lower score, low, um, lower the drive's health. So 
check which DA drive analyzer alerts you and alert history tab so you get some sort of logs as well. You can go through and do some human predictions as well. So if you're connecting through FTP to your uh, QNAP, then they have improved the FTP server and client options. So you can um, connect uh, again safer um, and enter the intelligent NAS aerobics QTS. So that's the point where you can actually download. If you click on one, one, uh, on this, you can download, you can uh, join the beta, make sure you do actually help them to improve the separating system. Um, in the next video, I'm going to actually show you how to install this um, QTS5 and how it looks in the real time. So now uh, keep, 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 keep uh, follow up and you'll find it out. Cheerio.